Yeah. 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 You know, getting back together was was a lot of talking with these guys. You know, I knew how crazy it was round one, and it, it was fun, but it it was it was hell as well. Like it just got to a point where you wanted to get off the bus. The bus was just unfigurable. <laughs> you weren't on the bus. Uh, <laughs> um, it just it wasn't fun, and I walked away. And you know that always haunts me that I left these guys, and then oh. here's an opportunity to get back together, and I'm still not really sure. You know, I hadn't come out publicly yet, and that was always on my mind. I didn't even tell these guys. Like we, that shot of us in the studio. I think that's when we. I was like, sorry, Tom. <laughs> you know, hey, John's getting you, Pastor. <laughs> I, I think we already knew John, but we're just waiting for you to catch up. <laughs> I, guess, you know, I, I, was t I was telling a story yesterday in, 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 the, in the 90s when I was in a hotel room with my current boyfriend. We are butt naked under the covers. <laughs> Donnie comes walking in the room with flame flakes. I was there too. I was there. And these fools jump on the bed and just start jumping around with me in this naked boyfriend. <laughs> Before that, yeah. But oh, um, that was such a great memory. We were in uh, a hotel. <laughs> no, I, I, it was it was a poignant moment for me because you know I was a huge public enemy fan, and it didn't sway my opinion of anything. But we were. Someone came up to my room and said, "Flame Flames in the lobby, and he's looking for you." And I went downstairs, and he was like, "Donnie!" We hugged and we went crazy. And uh, Danny was there and he said, he literally said, I want to see all the other guys. We had met him a few times before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just a quick story. So we went, we went up the elevator looking for him. We found Jordan, we found Joey. And we went to John's room. And it was, they changed the rules of hotels. The housekeeper was right outside. And we said, can you let us in the room? And she said, okay. So we walked in, it was, yeah, it was like two in the afternoon, and we were under the covers. And, I mean, I didn't think nothing of it, but what was really wonderful, it was Flavor Flav, it was like, What's up, John? We jumped in the bed, it was like, it was, it was so wonderful, and, and no, there was nothing out of the ordinary. It was like, it was so, like, nothing. Like, we didn't walk out the door and go, what was going on in there? <laughs> were they cold or were they doing it? Of course, love it. He was like laughing, 
crazy, whatever, but I, I wonder if it was like, yeah, that, that was powerful too. But I understand, I mean, we, we slept in the same room all the time. together all the time, so it wasn't that out of the ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Marsh and, and Damon, the, the Northside boys from back then, which they were on tour with me, and we all slept in the same bed. Like, okay, we just kept our clothes on. It was all right. <laughs> <laughs> we might have spooned once in a while if it was cold. <laughs> I have no idea how to segue out of this. <laughs> It was all love. That's the beauty. Yeah. It was all love. It was all love. And it always was. In, in that regard.